Namaste and welcome to React Bits. In today's episode, we are going to see how we can make an API request and catch API data locally using HypeDB. Let us see what API that will be using. So there is something called a JSON placeholder API. I'll provide the link in the description. So here we can find some endpoints like posts, comments, albums, photos, to do's, users. So we'll be using or looking at the posts in point. We'll get the post first, display it in our application, and then we'll see how we can catch it using Hive. So let us get started. First, let us open a Hive box. So here let us give it a name posts box okay. and let's open or we can rename this like Let's rename it to API box and let's make it API data. Okay, so we might be able to save posts and as well as other data in this. Now, we are just opening this so that later it will be easier for us. Now, let me run the project. It will take some time. The project I'm using is from the previous episode of HypeDB where we were able to save some simple data using HypeDB and display the getting started page only once to the user. Now in our home page, let us load data from API and display it using a future builder. So for now, let's create a class here. We can call it whatever we like. I'm calling it here API service and here I'll make a function future get posts sync. So here we'll do First in our pubspec.ml file, we need to add the HTTP dependency. So let's add it. Okay. Let's get packages. Now let's import HTTP. as HTTP. So let's make a get request. Get and URL, we can get the URL from JSON placeholder API. Here is our URL, right? So we'll get a response, then we can convert that into JSON or we can decode so let's see what we get back we get http dot response rest dot body so here json decode http dot body let's just return rest json all right now here in our list view let us use a future builder 
So let's wrap this with a let's see let's use a stream builder and turn this into future builder and this should be future and here we can call api service get posts right finally if not has data if a snapshot doesn't have data then we can do circular progress indicator otherwise we can return a list view and here we will show some data so final posts equals snapshot dot data and this will be a list type this should now what we can do in our list view is let's instead of button here post dot map post and let us use list type if you do not sorry if you do not know this three dot this means a spread operator what happens is this post dot map will return a iterator however in the list view we need individual elements from the iterator so this three dot will display individual elements written by this iterator and spread this array or iterator so inside list view title the title will be our post data has title so p title see we can now see our post data nice isn't it okay so next thing what we'd like to do now that we can get data from api what we'd like to do is we'd like to catch this data using hype db and next time when we make get post request what we want to do first we want to check in the hype db whether or not data already exists and if the data exists we want to return it from hype db and if not we want to return it from api so let's do that so in order to cast this data we are already opening a api box here we'll use the same box so down here what we can do is first let's add data once we have the rest json we can do hype dot box and this will be api data api box dot put so again we'll be using put and this is post and here we will add ref json okay so we'll be saving this rest json in the hype box fine nothing happens up until now let's see so if we turn off the Wi-Fi and hot restart will not be able to see the posts so see no lookup address socket exception we get an exception that is because there is no internet that's fine and we only get the circular progress indicator right so what we want to do is let's connect the Wi-Fi and let's hot restart once again see now our data is loaded and it's saved in the hype box 
Now in the get post function, before we make HTTP request, here we'll check whether or not our hive has the data. So here, So let me check default value. Okay, so first we get posts from API box. We are using the posts key here while putting. So we need to use the same key to get those values. And we are saving all the posts in a single key. And default value is an empty array. So now what we can do is we can check if posts is If post is not empty, return posts. Otherwise, we move on to the HTTP request and return this REST session. Okay. Now, if I turn off the Wi Fi and hot restart again, this should work because our Hive, de Hive DB already has the posts data and it can be loaded from Hive. So let's hot restart. See, we do not get any errors and we still have the data. This is because our hype DB already has the data. So this is one simple way of catching the data. But in real world, there are problems like data are updated in the remote end. So we can use simple logics like Depending on our use cases, we can say something like, okay, if we have the internet, make the API request, get the recent data, update in the hype box, and then return that data as well, right? And if we do not have the internet, we can simply load the data that is available in the hype box or that is available offline. Also, we can make things like user can be rapidly displayed so app can be very responsive we can display the data whatever data is available in the offline first and then make an api request and update the data as new data comes from the api so this is a simple example in the next episode we'll see some more complex examples of offline catching Thank you for watching this video. See you again in the next episodes.